Ready? Yes! All right, let's go. Welcome back to The Witch Live! Live. I am super excited today to be back in the kitchen with Riley and we're rocking our St. Jude gear. Yes? Yes! We love St. Jude. As many of you know, I'm a digital ambassador for St. Jude during Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, which is going on right now. And today we're sharing a very special recipe with you from St. Jude's Nutritionalicious Cooking Class that they do there for patients. This is blueberry applesauce muffins. Mm, so I like good. the applesauce because I, because well, that's gonna be our next show, right? Applesauce. Oh, okay. All right, we will show you how to make the applesauce on the next show. Today we've actually already made it and we're gonna use it in the recipe and we're gonna show you how to do it step by step and we're also gonna add a little something fancy on the end because you know we like to keep it a little fancy here. And they were gonna life, right? eat it. Oh yes, of, of course, course we we're gonna eat it. it. <laughs> For our dry ingredients, we're using whole wheat flour, sugar, salt, and baking powder. For our wet ingredients, we're using unsweetened applesauce. Now you can buy this or you can make it like we did. All we did was steam it ahead of time and add some cinnamon and vanilla. Don't add it. Don't add it. We're gonna do it on the show. Oh, she doesn't want you to tell me. She doesn't want me to tell you what we make because we're gonna do it on our next show, applesauce. But right now, you can just use unsweetened applesauce and what's this? Almond milk. Yep. And egg. And then we're gonna fold in our blueberries. Fold it? Yeah. Fold it? Well, mix it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> And for our crumble on top, we're gonna use what, Riley? We're gonna use brown sugar. Mm -hmm. What's next? Cinnamon. We're gonna use our whole wheat flour again and butter. So the first thing we're going to do is add our dry ingredients, starting with the whole wheat flour. So next we're going to mix up our wet ingredients, starting with our applesauce. So we're going to add our applesauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah, you can just it. scoop it out. Mm -hmm. So now we have our wet ingredients all mixed together and our dry ingredients. So what do we do next? Pour it, of course. Of course. All right, so I will pour. It looks like cake batter. It does, it looks like cake batter. And now we're going to mix it. Now with muffins, be careful not to over mix. So we just need to mix it so it's nice and combined, but not light. too much. Just a little thick. Light. Yeah, yeah, just a little thick. And last but not least, we're gonna add yeah. our blueberries. Yeah. This is like, add all the bowls yep. and combine it yep. up. And, and then we, of course, we have to mix. Yes, of course we have to mix. Okay, yes. But we don't want to smush, we just want to mix. To make our crumble, we're going to add our dry ingredients and then cut in the butter. And that just means we're gonna add a little bit of butter at a time, make sure it's nice and cold. And then we're just gonna pulse our food processor until it's combined, almost like a coarse cornmeal. So during the break, Riley and I agree that she would scoop the muffin mix into the muffin pan and I will top with crumble. Ooh, I got some muffin on me. I will top with the crumble. So let's just see how this goes. All right, you wanna try it? So as you can see, our cups are not quite full. That's because we wanted to leave room for our crumble. And you're just gonna sprinkle the crumble on top like so. You can be very generous, actually, with the crumble. Yeah, because everybody needs some crumble. So now we're ready to put our muffins in the yeah. oven. Yes, we've added our crumbles on top. Now, if you don't want to add the crumbles at home, guess what? You don't have to. Yeah, you can yeah. totally make these muffins without the crumble. I like the crumble on top. Me you like too. it? Yeah. I, I, because I had it. Yeah, ah. yeah, and it's really good. So now we're gonna put it in a preheated oven for 15 to, what do you think? 20. 15 to 20 minutes. Preheated oven at 400, and we'll be right back.
Okay guys, our muffins are all done and we can't wait to try them, right? I am just so honored, again, to be a digital ambassador for St. Jude during Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. We love St. Jude, right? Yes. Yes, we do. And you guys can help us support St. Jude by joining our team for the walk run on September 29th in D.C. Remember, you don't have to be in D.C. You can join us virtually. The link is below. And last but not least, now that I gave that shout out, make sure you join our team and donate. You can try a muffin. Last but not least, muffin, 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 muffin. Go ahead. No! Go <laughs> the verdict is in. Riley says the muffins from St. Jude are perfect. So I hope you try these. I hope you join our team and donate. And I hope you subscribe too to The Rich Life so that you can stay up to date with all of the latest. Until next time, what? take care, everybody. Ha, ha, ha.